Hello, guys. This is Tina. How are you doing? Uh, uh, finally, we are talking about the Node.js web application processing model. Okay, how the Node.js handle the web requests. Let's start from now. First, let's take a look at what's inside the server. Okay. We are still is uh, online shopping. Okay. And uh, here is our Node.js server. Okay. It's E-R, V-E-R. Okay. And uh, Node.js server uh, is uh, host our online shopping and uh, all the product information is saved in the database and the images is in the file system. Okay. And here will be our I.O. blocking I.O. So what's inside the node? It's going to have a event loop. Oh, yeah. No talent on any art related activities. Like singing, drawing, no art. This is our event loop. And also, it will have a queue. This queue is a uh, stuck. This queue is a uh, suppose th this one is a queue. This one is a queue. It uh, in the node it has a uh, eight queue, eight or seven. Okay, we will we will refine later. Okay, this is the queue. Like uh, suppose this one is a pool. Like a receiving um, requests, and I suppose this one we we talk about the, this one the, the next one this one is the event queue okay. This one is uh, uh, put our request is this queue, and what event loop is? Uh, it will go through the first queue, second queue, third queue. Every time it will check out if it has anything to do. If it has to do some, then move to next queue, and if we have some do and put and go next, go next like this one. Okay. Uh, it's not like uh, execute one queue. It have a queue like a in uh, like a round robin from one two three. Then go back one two three like uh, execute like uh, this way. Okay. So now first, I have a re client make a request. Okay, it has a request comes. Okay, request one, and the event loop. Suppose now is on the executing the pool two receiving this request. After receiving, we think it will gonna put it in this queue. Okay, it's gonna help us to understand. Okay, put on this queue request, and if the client two comes, it will receiving and put it here. And after receiving the two requests, okay, it will say, okay, I'm done with this queue. Uh, I will move next one, then I will come back receiving more requests, okay, taking more requests. So after this one, it will move the event loop, move to uh, C. Oh, is there any request I didn't process? Oh, it is. I have request one. So request one will be processed by the event loop. Now it has a difference, okay? This request one is processing by the event loop. The event loop will do the thing. Now, it will check, does this request one contains or requests or need any blocking IO operations? What does it mean? Does the request one need to access the file system? Does the request one need to access database? Okay. Okay, blocking IO. He will event loop will check any any request comes to uh, any uh, those requests come. It will check does it need a blocking IO. If it says yes, then what is done here? It will be this request will be handled by the internal threads node. Is also actually have a node.js internal thread. 
threads. Okay, this internal threads is like a normal others like a thread one. It's a limited thread n. Okay, because this block because this request one has uh, needed to access database which is a blocking IO. And uh, in order this event loop, loop is not blocking, he will give this request pick. He will pick a uh, threads from this internal pool, okay? And then associate with this request. And these re uh, threads will be uh, process the database. And once it's ready, it will send the response back to the event loop. And then event loop will send the response back to the client. This is for the first request done. Now it will process the request too. Okay. And uh, event loop take the uh, request to, oh, while, uh, sorry, sorry, uh, one, one step back. When, uh, while this uh, request one, okay, here, it is yes, right? Being processed by this thread, the event loop is uh, continuing taking the request from this queue, okay? Now it's processing the request too. Meanwhile, it's not the after it's done, okay? It's while the thread is handle this request, event loop is a hand keep handling the request from uh keep handling request from the event queue okay so now request two comes he will check do you have a blocking io which is accessing the file system database he said okay no i don't have if it's a no okay it won't go to this thread what's gonna do if it's no it will it's event loop itself it will execute all the functions okay which is the javascript functions and uh, which is uh, required by processing the request to after it's done it will directly return the response to this one is response one got it if this request doesn't need any blocking io the event loop itself will process all the functions and then return. And if this request need blocking IO, then this event loop will pick a thread from the internal thread pool and using that thread to process the request. And meanwhile, the event loop itself will continue taking other requests from the queue okay and once this thread is done it will go back to event loop event loop will send it back that's the difference so in node.js we cannot say everything is asynchronous because it also have other threads but uh, when we write uh, node.js we care about the event loop part okay event loop this part event loop this part is a single thread non-blocking okay if it has blocking okay take care it's like when we go and uh, uh, take orders from the restaurant it will take your order if you need to prepare for the burger then it will handle to other person in the kitchen to prepare for the burger uh, the cashier itself will meanwhile take uh, other orders but uh, if you have a client go to a uh, cashier just uh, asking for some the menu information then the cashier will answer everything okay but if it needed to prepare for the food it will ask uh, kitchen it's the same thing here the this thread is each per each chef in the kitchen and if it need to prepare a burger they will uh, ask one chef to serve right serve uh, this uh, request this order this meal right and once it's done it will go back so i'm not sure i already tried my best to give uh, the scenario okay 
And uh, one uh, comment is uh, nowadays not uh, all the file system is uh, blocking because uh, like uh, some new operating system, the file system they already support for uh, non-blocking non-blocking IO. So if event loop also uh, see it's a uh, query to the database or for a file system, but if it support for asynchronous, which is a non-blocking way, it will be it will execute immediately. Okay, not using the internal threads. It depends. Okay. Uh, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.